An instructional video by the Purple Martin Conservation Association, leading Purple Martin research since 1987. How to modify your house to make the rooms larger. Now this video was recorded about a month before Purple Martins arrived. Right there is where he's holding onto the rods where he's going to attach four gourds to this house. With a quarter inch stainless steel bolt in one hand, he raises the house and he'll use the bolt to pin the house in place where it won't come down. What's nice about this setup, the pole can come completely out of the other pole and you could take the house to service it on a workbench if you needed. I stuck this pin through here. See how I notched that pipe? This is stainless steel. I believe this is three quarter and this lower one is one inch. Now I've got another hole down low that I put the the bucket, the predator guard on. Alright, I just lift the bucket or predator guard up and the second bolt goes through both the top and the bottom pipe. Then I just tighten up the nuts by hand and I put the top nut on the bolt. Reach up in here and I take the other. All this bottom bolt does is hold the predator guard in place. Now I'm going to just raise that up, lift that pin out, and the whole thing just slides right down. But whenever you lower the house, make sure it's always facing the same way. That'll just totally mess up purple markers if they're not oriented the same compass direction every time. Well, what I want to show you about this house, Purple Martins have a male porch dominance and most of these houses they're finding out, well they found out a long time ago, they're just too close together. They rarely fill totally up because there's a thing called male porch dominance. So that's why I've got this thing spread out. You know, in an old house, in a regular house, if you used all those compartments, a male Purple Martin would maybe claim this hole or he claim the middle one, but he would defend the other two because they're so close. Now he might not defend the bottom, but what's good about the way this house is arranged up, instead of 12, six on this side and six on the other side, now this house is only a six compartment, but it's so much better for the Purple Martins on this side, I've only got two openings. And then I've added porches on this side of the house. So now male porch dominance, this entrance, is on the same floor, but it's far enough away to where the Purple Martins will tolerate each other. Notice how far the entrance holes are away on this part. Now on the other side, they're just the opposite. So that owls are attacking your Purple Martins at night. Owls can just literally reach right in there and get a baby. That's such a small entrance. That's just a, too small for for all them full-grown purple martins. They just packed in there tight, and now can just reach in there and get them. And that's probably one of the main reasons people say, "Well, I had martins one year, but or I've had martins for years. Now all of a sudden, I don't have them. I don't know what happened." Well, you didn't see it, but the owls were getting them in the middle of the night. But what this has. This is the front room, and I've drilled a hole in here. I've drilled a hole in here with the hole saw, and I've uh, took sandpaper and filed it down real smooth so I can rub that with my finger. But, but now all the babies will end up staying back there in the nest. It's natural for the Purple Martins to use that back room, and it's so much safer for them. And, and then as the baby Purple Martins get older, they'll have plenty of room to spread out. They'll, you can have a couple in here, but at night they'll all tuck in there real real safe and sound back here in the back room away from a predator's reach through the entrance hole. Alright, so let's take a look at this side of it and let's explain a little bit more about the double compartments. Now their entrance is on this side. This is what we call the front room. This is the Purple Martin's front room. Well, back here in the back room, when I go to do my nest checks, I'll just check this door back here. This is the door where I'll check the nest. All right, so this is the way the house looks. It's better to drill holes, I think, than to take the walls out. Because even if an owl was to get lucky and reach back in there and be able to reach that far, now he's got to hit a hole, he's got to hit a target. And I also think that it gives up the baby Purple Martins a little bit of practice getting in and out of the entrance hole, because they've got a hole there. 
like like this one right here you can see the entrance hole on the other side so what we're looking at here is the back room so this back room is where I'm going to check my nest and this is where this this one will be plugged off it's the entrance and you can look all the way across through there that there's no daylight let's go on the other side of the house and look and the middle compartment is plugged see all right here's the entrance hole on this side and on this side it's plugged thing up here there's the entrance this side is plugged same thing on the top so you can look through the top and I've got the door open back there well it ain't showing up on the video very well but anyways you can see all the way through the back I've got the door open back there entrance hole in the middle on the top so it's going to be plugged on this side see this is the nest back here you can look through there and see the entrance hole and this is the side that I'm going to be doing my nest check. Until July 10th, 2008, I've checked my nest check records. And in this gourd, I mean in this house, I should have three young. That should not be old enough to fly, but pretty dang big. There they are. Hello, babies. Everything's okay. I'm just checking. There's three of them, just like we said, and it's good and healthy. They're not, they're not going to try to fly because they just ain't quite old enough. It's amazing what two more days will do for them, how fast they grow. So there you have it. Purple Martins are much safer in larger rooms. Protect your Purple Martins. Keep starlings and house sparrows out of your Martin nests.